Hey you guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the skeleton effect that I had done in my bonus inspire video. Um, if you haven't seen it, then it will be this effect here. That one there, where you saw the skeleton um, of the actual person. So what we're going to do is you need to render out a video um, in Sony Vegas where you've got the person basically dying. Um, I know it sounds horrible. <laughs> now but like that and what I've done is I've added Twixter um, to that person so it's really smooth and slow then what you want to do is go down to the download and what I've given you is a skeleton model and I rigged this model myself um, so it may not be perfect but I've tried my best um, and if you go ahead and open it you get this model here and you can add any material you will want to it um, I just like to use the glass effect though, so I've actually already got a preset for glass and I drag it and drop it onto the skeleton Okay. then what you want to do is you want to go up to here add floor and a background now um, this will obviously add a background to the image and I'm just going to change my product settings to 1280 by 720 like so and now what you want to do is you want to add a video to that background which is that one of that person dying so now that video has to be rendered into mp4 format um, I've got mine here so all you got to do is double click and load the color or the texture and just load that video into here and then you drag and drop it onto the background you'll see it pops up on there and if I, if I uh, extend this, so if I put it to 200, so um, if I go along, then you'll see the person in the background will move. If I don't go too far, there you are, like that. So you'll see the person in the background move there. Now what you want to do is you want to try and rig this skeleton. Now this is the hard part, is you want to try and rig this skeleton to the movements of the, the person. So I'm just going to move it into position and rotate it if you have to. Um, the problem is here is you might not be able to get to the rotate and so on very easily right so now if you want to position him into the obviously the, the way that the guy is positioned and just basically start um, trying to move the parts into the exact same as what the uh, person dying is now um, to uh, animate a say, say an arm uh, what you have to do is you have to create a keyframe so you hit this keyframe button here and it says record position now if you if you see the person dying in the background his arm moves okay and then you basically like want to move it into the position and then like uh, once you uh, once you move it into position you like you basically keyframe it and then uh, the skeleton would basically like move with the background so say if I want to do this right leg here so we want to find the right hip joint just here I'm move it across um, and by the looks of it it looks like I want to make the model a little bit bigger um, and also I may have to move it a bit closer towards uh, well towards me so what we'll do is we'll just move this down all right so we're gonna what we have to do is we want to make this into like a slight bend so with the right hip joint down here make sure that's in line with that so you move it across what you could do here is create a keyframe and then if you go into the right knee joint, make sure it's in line with the knee. You don't have to be absolutely perfect. I mean, obviously the better it looks, obviously the better the effect's going to be. Um, and you have got the right ankle as well. So that needs folding down like so, something like that. So as you can see, now that's fairly in line like that. What you'll see then is if you go across, the leg's going to move in the background. Now you're going to have to move all of those parts again. I'm just going to move the hip joint and you've got to keyframe that and then go into the right knee joint and then you want to move that just a little bit like so, keyframe it basically what you'll have is you'll have that, the skeleton moving with the background then like so <clears throat> now this isn't absolutely perfect but it looks a really good effect especially when you've got colour correction but uh, I tried my best with obviously the rigging and you can obviously rig it yourself um, but that's basically it so you've just got to basically keyframe it with the background and then at the end all I did was either rendered it out with the background or with the background I basically deleted it, deleted the texture 
created a green background like so like this and then I added it to Sony Vegas it did a chroma key effect okay but that's basically it um, that's all the effect is so it's not um, an impossible effect but it isn't the easiest thing to get right first time um, but that's it for today um, I hope this helped because many of you guys have asked comment rate subscribe and I'll catch you guys later